what we want to do with our calendar, this is over on page 249, is we're going to want to set up operational periods, which days are work days, which days are holidays, what the working hour is. That way, if I have service level objectives that are tailored to business hours, non-business hours versus uh, something that's just monitored all the time, I can set up these calendar items to make them available for the service level objectives so that they know that on holidays, our, uh, our little app that we run inside the company, we're just going to shut it down because after working hours and on holidays, nobody can come into the office, so I don't need to have that application running. So we can do that. So let's go ahead and show you how we can do the configuration. So I have my calendar. I'm going to right-click on it. I'm going to say Create a Calendar. And we will give it a day. I'm going to call this one Working Hours and Holidays. Then you would want to set up your time zone. So we'll drop this down. I'm going to go to Arizona. That way we don't have to worry about uh, daylight savings time, which is kind of fun. And we'll say that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday are all holidays. And we start at 8 a.m. So we'll have that one, 8 colon 00 a.m. And I'll just copy this into all of them. So we'll paste it here and here and here and here. And our end time is going to be 5 p.m. And I'll just copy this. And if I know that for these uh, particular applications, uh, we have a holiday coming up, so I'll say add, and we will give it a name, we'll say CEO day, and we'll go ahead and pick a date. I'm going to say February, and eh, we'll say February 10th, that's CEO day. There we go. Uh, now, I haven't associated this particular calendar with any service level objectives. So it's going to say related SLOs. We don't have squad in here simply because we haven't associated them. You have to go through and you have to um, set up the machine so that with the service level objectives, if you are going to have certain applications or certain services that are not available on weekends or not available after hours, you'd create your calendar and attach those service level objectives to the calendar so it's not going to hit your downtime and availability time and, and all that stuff.